There is not yet a way to make steam in Shaper, but uh, for this magic potion, we're going to go ahead and make a uh, glass cauldron, or as some of you may call it, a mug, coffee mug. We're going to make it an even four inches on both sides, and as usual, everything happens around the center, so we, we are going to rotate our little rectangle to make it a cylinder. And there are multiple ways of doing this, obviously, but I just, this is usually the fastest way to do it, so that's what I do. But now we need a handle, and we have to find that point that we want. And if you can't get it, usually zooming in will solve that issue. So go ahead and zoom in like I did and find the point that you're looking for. Then the second point, because we're gonna make that half circle so that we can, uh, you can either sweep or you can just offset. I'm just gonna go ahead and offset in this one, but make it 180 degrees so we have a perfect circle and delete those lines, we no longer need them. Go ahead and offset because if you wanted to sweep, you'd have to make an additional sketch but offsetting makes it a little quicker. So offset, and then we're going to go ahead and extrude. And you can only do half, obviously, because the sketch is in the way. Let's hide the sketch and then even out that handle. All right, once we have that, we fillet the edges to make it a uh, perfect circle, basically swept across that line. Uh, and we have our handle. Let's go ahead and fillet the bottom just to look nice. And we probably need a lip on the top so let's go ahead and sketch the lip and i'm going to show you the long way and i'm going to explain to you one issue that may come up in your projects that you need to look out for so let's go ahead and sketch the lip that we need and it just needs to be a small one just so it's comfortable to grip that cauldron so to speak <laughs> um to drink the coffee uh, so let's make it a 0.05 and even on both sides and then uh, we need to round it off, which usually you could have just filleted, but let's show you a different way. So let's find that center point and then sketch our circle, trim the edges we don't need. And then let's go ahead also and uh, sketch fillet the top. So let's find that center because otherwise it'd be pretty hard and then delete those edges that we don't need just so they're not in the way when we're trying to work on it, okay? So then we take the shape obviously and we revolve it around the center line because everything happens at the center and now we have our lip so it might be a little small but for this project it's fine i think uh, let's go ahead and show you what happens when we union and try to shell the project so basically you can see it's not shelling it's too complex for the math to handle so what we need to do is undo and make it individual pieces and then we shell the simple project and then once we have that shelled, we just click done. And now we can <clears throat> union the two pieces. Now we can find our fillet that we need to make it a smooth edge for your lips. And uh, we basically have it. So let's go ahead and make it a glass container. And uh, as you can see, we forgot to union them. So let's go back and make sure that works. And as you can see, we still have to fix a little thing because it doesn't reach all the way to the cup. So usually we would do that by moving the piece up a little bit. Since uh, we can't really access the cup while we're doing that. So we need to move it up and then we re show the body of the cup again and then we replace the face. And sometimes you could do that all together at once. Sometimes you have to do that individually. Just depends on the model. So in this case, it was easier to do it that way. Let's go ahead and union that. And now we have our full cup. And uh, so I like the way this looks right here, but we're missing something, some coffee. Let's go ahead and put that in by extruding the floor. Make sure it's a new body. We will go ahead and replace the face to fill the container. And then just keep in mind, you can always check the volume on the bottom where the measurements are. So let's go ahead and subtract that body from this one so that we can have it fill the cup. Now we just find the environment that looks good for us and we have a coffee cup with coffee. So hope you had fun following along. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to add them in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.